Okay. Uh, set here. Um, okay. Well. All right. So yeah, let's see. I have already completed that. But I guess I'll look at this quest now. Everything's unlocked now. I know we got that still to do. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been there. So let's see. Just continue. Wasn't there something else at the time? Uh do that. 14 days. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to do before. Yeah, I don't know how long this will take. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll skip ahead and do that. Because these are... it should... I guess it will be just places I'm gonna visit before time. Ah, there are those as well. Hmm. To open the statues. It's got a few points, can have a berries. No, okay, but they don't seem to. Okay, challenges. Alright, they don't seem to be such a big deal. Okay, but this menu is a bit confusing. That. Okay, schedule set. Complete. Alright, I did that already. Okay, pictures. Hey, photograph long necked rhino. Ah, they are rhinos. Uh, okay. Where? Very well, let's go there. Oh, and there's a race right there as well. Already. Yeah, but let's follow the menu. I'll get back to this race afterwards. I guess the part of the act two being recommended is probably just because by that time at this story, I probably will get to uh, Kinich's village. I'll just get there before the quest. I don't think it'd be a big deal. The graffiti camera. Um, that one. Yeah, it wasn't really cool to have her in the middle of the road. Of the main quest. I thought I could break this down. That's a nice one. Wow, I think this is the picture I took that the most looks like a wallpaper. Two? Yeah, but this one won't be great. I had a better view go farther. Yeah. I don't have a nice thing off on this one. Huh. Does it still mark? It does. Okay, so that one doesn't. Ah, oh, it could be one. That one.
Now, you point to the echoes. I got there when I entered the the village. The Bethsaur's well. Okay. It's close. But like this one counts? No, it has I have to be inside the area. Just a moment. I better open my map here. Since I'll walk around it. Not long, I'll probably collect a few things while I'm here. Some here as well. Was this just one, or I needed a second? Sorry, I'm close. So late. Okay. So let's go on. Oh, oh no, I don't have the. Ah, I don't have the thing equipped. I'm not gonna swap things now. Do drop anything? Solidify. Okay, sorry. I'll capture one. That alerted. Uh. Wait, what? In the collection challenge of, of aspects vivid, you need to get a certain types of harvestables. Recommend collect size with your more items. Yeah, that's what I expected. Here's that. Oh! Hey, I didn't hit you! Transfixed. Sorry, but I didn't hit you. I didn't even know that thing exploded. Stabilize. Ah, oh, I broke that crab. Oh yeah, but I think it only drops. Uh, iron or something. Simple. Who's angry? You were the ones that exploded the thing. Solidify! Reconstitute! Overrule! Yeah. Forget it! Uh, 
that's what I need. What about you? Stabilize. Oh, good throw. No, don't vanish. Ah. Yeah, they probably just drop uh, meat as well. But I didn't think they would be that resistant. Oh, combat phase one, two, three. Let's try the go flame cooksar tyrant's shield uh, to make it fall. I don't have one right there. Okay. I hope I don't need to get close to the city at any point. Mm, I use one of those. Transfixed. Ah, okay, it's in order. Uh, three, maybe four. I don't know if the one falling counts. Okay, yellows. One yellow. Two yellows. Three and four. That was it. What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? I thought I had to use uh, that. Oh, it's a Yoshi. Well, it is feathery, but it is green. And it is, it has a long, it's a bipedal green dinosaur with a long tongue and spits fire from fruits. It's a Yoshi. Extreme challenge. Warriors were speed one way, wing just where help collects loot. Ah, okay. Avatar of Earth. Avatar of Earth. That sounds like something daily like. I shouldn't be fighting it, should I? This protest was fully overburned stage. Is it the root? So it's actually weak against. Neutralize! Late bear! <laughs> Uh, it's dead before it overburns. 
Ah, that was for the thing already. Okay, I thought I had to uh, start a challenge or something. I didn't pay attention to that. There wasn't anything like that around. Uh, what exactly did I have to break? It wasn't that thing's shield. Hang on, I don't think I saw any shields to be broken. Okay, that was just phase one, okay. I thought fa the three phases were the three waves that were there. Ah, it's still here, same place. Oh no, it's just a bit over there. Okay. Why are you pointing at him? What? Let's just put up a good fight. <laughs> Hang on, I can't fight the sea. Anybody here can see? Summon the fire! Oh! That's pretty and weird. Rock Carvenous Wild Manifestation. Are, isn't Aren't they wilds? Good? Should I be fighting it? The wild boars by diverse tribes are not only fast themselves, from these obsidian totems. In battle, the wild manifestation will deploy its arena more tragically. Sh ah, shoot. Ah, that's the thing. No, but it wasn't wild manifestation, the thing I had to. Uh, creation of cell or starting the mental energy, all characters in arena, characters in arena. Greatly. Do great increased damage. But it will absorb our elemental energy, but we'll do more damage. If shields broken, and partner is expressed, they will circulate a large amount of energy. However, they fail to break the shield, and we generate barrier based on the value of the remaining element of shield. to point me, send me to the right spot. Stabilize. Those secret source of Omega Hunter Seeker. Ancient mechanical rage, order that one, the fuck you know. So we've seen this automated and some progressive measures of the okay, complete, how to see the glitches by the calculator. Leave you there. Bernie, they will kill that thing. No fight. Late bear. So I guess you'll die again. Four. Come on! Show me your courage! Uh, maybe there'll be a boss. 
after phase three. Order guide you. Reconstitute. Yeah, it's by me to another direction. Uh, let's grab the... Ah, is that boss there? Or not? Yeah, I do Uh, but is that the thing I have to fight now? Cooks are tyrants. Yeah, it sounds like that. Cooks are tyrants. Okay. So, no. Let me read again. What, what's the name of what I have to do? It's not just break its shield, it has some different name. Uh, to make it fall. Okay, so I have to break its shield while it's airborne. I haven't fought one of those yet. I don't know how it goes. Polawaka Gopo. Gather! Yeah, quite monster huntery. Opening this turn, the soldier form result of being a name which withstand the great power that it has been granted. Ah, look. Is this like rabbit Kuxar because of the power? It will fly into the air, the combat hit a golden flame, energy and form, should run cell launch flame wind. Uh, feather toward the ground that summons a play with wings. You can destroy the wind feather before the cookstar dives down into it. The creature will use a flock song current to return to the skies. This will persist until it is exhausted and return to its original form. It seems then that destroying the flame wing feather using elemental elements of reactive fire made the victory. Okay, that's what breaks its shields, or do I have to shoot it when it's airborne? Transfixed. This is order. Stabilize. We're in the area. This will brighten up the place. Extract. Uh, I don't have to go to the sky or something before I kill you. I see your power. Gather! No, it has to be things that we react. Yeah, so he's in that. Okay, I think I need another character. Uh, no. Okay, that won't do. Let's recover her and bring Nervlet. Instead of Arlequino, thank you for permitting. I have 
those clouds up there. Solidify. I thought we may vanish into the clouds, but it was just hovering around here. It was... It started to Stabilize! Extract! Bow your head! I will have order! Settle down! Okay, now... Shield... Gather! Be sanctified! Bow your head! Okay, this is working better. Stabilize! Neutralize! Silence! Extract! Bow your head! Is that what I had to do? Fresh and floral! Silence! I... I don't think I have... Do I? I don't... Yeah, okay. But I'll probably have to find another thing of those. Uh, during the other quests. Uh, was that it? Yeah. Okay, and now those. Oh, hang on, what? What's written there? There are three types. What? So, could be rating of B, rating of A, rating of S. Okay, I suppose just running through uh, rings and maybe collecting coins. Those races never get too far from that. Uh... Oh, hang on, let's see what's the achievement I got there. Sorry, my flame will start turning the lemon shield while it is in its gold flame stage to make it fall out of the sky. Yeah, but I think maybe I could have defeated it with Arlequina before it got to that. Uh, is that. Yeah. That's what I thought that would be near the, ch the combats. Do I need that? I think I walk nearby before by accident and there was some something here about something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, but I think I should be that. Okay, coins, playing games. Uh, surprise rocks, golden clownstone, orzo inspiration. Was a really companion to carry out the challenge. Recommend to play Uncasaurus related companion during the challenge. I need that and recommend it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what does that mean if I... Ah, okay, she can do things uh, that at least ours does, so I wouldn't need that necessarily. Right, she enters through those things, lava things in the wall. Okay. Uh...
I didn't grab that one. Ah, oh, not fair. Oh, I hope it didn't lose too much time. Ah, oh, uh. Did I grab stuff? Yeah. Feels so slow. Why doesn't it have a dash? Oh no! Damn it! I was trying to hit downwards, like we've always done with every character. Okay, is the base on time or points? Okay, rank S already. SS? Can you get triple S? Like, yeah, double my cry and stuff? Okay, but there's already more than I needed, so we're good. Uh, here. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that one's loading symbol. Can we talk to you? Not really. No. That was marked still. So we can like <laughs> fly a bit. Right here. of things. Oh. Flying otters. Huh. Oh, hang on. Am I supposed to follow you guys? They're glowing. Uh, oh, there's a thing. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll try to remember that for some other time. Huh? Ah, you're here? Uh, you weren't huh? really near the others, were you? Is that you, Dope Dazzler? Looking for potential graffiti spots nearby, huh? Uh, you're here too. Looks like you are really talented picking the most promising scenery like that. Mm, well, not quite. So far, we've been pretty feast or family when it comes to inspiration. Uh, were you about to start working your magic here? Mine's showing us your masterful artistry. Yeah, that's true. We haven't seen graffiti yet in progress yet, have we? Could you show us? Uh, don't rush things. There are no suitable cliffs nearby. After all, avant garde graffiti requires an avant garde canvas. I just happened to be passing through this area and I recall having a picnic here with a friend once, which is why I dropped by this spot again. If it wasn't for that friend's encouragement, I might have remained a tongue tied ordinary artist, someone with no head for anything other than graffiti. Unable to comprehend even the most basic avant-garde philosophies. And of course, I never have met you two. 
So it's like you're talking about your friend who gave you important life advice. Like how Paimon and I draw together then. Uh, there's your friend do graffiti as well. Not like Paimon and I. I wouldn't say we are that close. You're almost joining the hip, you don't know. I met her many years ago. I was studying color mixing at the stadium of the Secret Flame. It was when the unique color scheme of her clothes that Im immediately drew my eye. Other people would say that I look like someone whose soul's been torn out of their body when I think about colors and paints. Uh, but I didn't have many friends. But she thought differently. She believed that my dopiness was a sign that I was sure about my goals and wasn't concerned about anything else. Just like a warrior in training. It wasn't any impatient encouragement speech, but she motivated me greatly, just the same. We haven't kept in contact too much over the years, but I've never forgotten her words. She doesn't have any talent for graffiti, but that's fine. She became an awesome warrior all the same. In fact, I believe that someday the children of Echoes will be proud of her. Uh, that's a new one, so friends who don't hang out often can encourage each other too. All the best both of you. Wish you both lucky pooping up in life. Don't worry about that. Danger and unexpected accidents are temporary. Should be up and over those obstacles for sure. And I won't be staying idle either. There's always room to improve my graffiti skills and I'm sure I'll break through on the horizon once I combine them with my latest thoughts on avant-garde art. I'll paint some massive for her when she returns in triumph. Just watch me. Mm, is it supposed to be Kachima or...? I mean, she is unique because she's not an NPC but she doesn't really have such different colors from her tribe. Oh. oh. Do you also like collecting chickens? Ah. I mean, who wouldn't want to? They're so pretty. Let's see. Uh, not that. Huh. Okay. What about that thing? Just go follow it. Ah, it's just a sea. Whoa! Look at all ah, these shiny rocks. Oh, oh we're gonna attack me. I didn't do anything to you yet. Yeah. Oh, and there's a tiny one. Gather. We can't do all the same stuff here. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Oh, I'm, your I'm still killing the young things. I lose that thing there. I guess I need that again. Mm, same thing.
All right. More. Oh, okay. It's true. It's. SS again, and I, I think I did better than before. I didn't got stuck and stuff. Maybe SS is the best. All right. Uh, here. Okay. Oh, take a picture of a capybara. Here, I guess I'll drop down through here. What's that? Pink Fox Stone. What were you afraid of? Settle down. Well, then. This is order. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. I didn't really notice who was that. I thought it was the bugs. Hmm. Okay, I did that one. Oh, was it another thing? Money too. The Provincial Forebears at the true archive. You cannot be using grappling hooks and yunka stars. No abilities once you obtain a whole name to release a farm platform corresponding color. Oh. Okay, statue. Let's see. Now let's see, like a key. Oh, curry try keystone. The mechanism used to unlock gates of ancient altars, among scenes of canopy. This mechanism serves as a trail machine. 
where only the most experienced scorers are said to be able to acquire all three keystones in a short set of of time. Uh, hang on, isn't there something here? Uh, that? Seems like a totem pole, but that's not really the, the trial, right? Tribal Chronicle. Okay, I thought maybe it was. Oh, this is pretty close. I should be careful not to start something there. Hmm. I'm a bit unsure. Well, yeah, that's probably for a quest. can mark those on the map. Great. Where's the picture? Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Uh, next one. Right here. Meluzine's off. Doesn't hurt, hit the ground. Solidify. Stabilize. 
Oh, sorry, guys. It was totally my bad. It just rises for a little bit and stops. Ah. Yeah. Let's ah. leave it. Solidify. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. No, damn you. Go to the other side of the bench. Just that. Okay, she doesn't see on this side. your swift while bus station. Okay, the other one was reconstitute Geo and this is the angel. Huh. The tides beckon. Huh. Bow your head. Be sanctified. Silence. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first. So it's legally yours now. Mm. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have a uh... Is, this isn't the chocolate, is it? Damn it, why can't I have both things? No, I won't swap because I don't really know when. I'll find another one of those. Okay, I think I had a young chocolate. Oh, what's yours? Bow your head! Rise! Yeah! Silence! Well, this was new. Come on. I'm not sure about the one. 
Volcano cake. Young of Paco, okay. Okay, I'll need that thing again. I had one of those already. Ah, oh, now it's clean. Gotcha. Gather. Let's finish. Let the mighty be humble. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Whoever finds it first, it's legally mine because I just murdered the guys who actually found it. <laughs> Let's hope you put up a good fight. <clears throat> Extract. It's just alpaca breeders here, and I'm. Going around murdering them for no reason. Is it here I'm supposed to fight them? Oh, I get angry and I get close, but it doesn't really come to attack me. Okay. Oh, I can teleport there, right? Well, I suppose those are like the reputation quests. But I can teleport there directly now. It won't teleport me to near by. Let's, let's test. Where will this take me? And worse, I'll start a quest that I won't complete now. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, let's save some time for afterwards. There. Just where am I supposed to go? There. Ah, some guys from the port. Just pick it up, piece of paper, and we border. Green edge. Paper sleeve. It's a green card. A uh, special pass with green patterns drawn along its edges. So I think that's what the is made of. And it makes rustling noise when you rub it. it. On one corner is if you have picked it up accidentally, please return it promptly to 
a small map has been drawn on it. Oh, it's a quest. Flame grenade, three root pass. Um, green as the favorite, the rest of the touch or not may only be used as a flame grenade root system pass. Please handle with care, will not be reissued if lost. If you have picked this up recently, return it promptly to the guard by the entrance of flame grenade's roots. The science of canopy will reward the, its return. Uh, water, water, and path. <laughs> Here. Uh, all right, but I probably won't do that now. I will probably save that for. Wow, it'll probably take a while because I want to complete that. I want to complete the quest. I want to complete the ones already marked on the map. Yeah, uh, I can't drop that. Mm. Ah. ah, okay, each of the stash of the seven. Okay, I thought it was one for getting them all. Uh, I need to harvest nine, I have six already. No, but that's fine, let's get all the ones around the area. Oh, that's so me to kill one of those. They're just hanging there. Oh, oh, it's the part of a quest. Read. Uh, damage stones like five. Uh, damage stones. Oh, tablet. Inscription has been rolling around since by the same. Okay, so manage vaguely make out some of the remaining text says. The Lord of the Crossroads fake. The great spirit streamed of the black tides, the sacrifice was rejected. The white earth spread, the six regions surrounding the temple swallowed by the wastelands. Refugees could not offer grain. Priests and elders alike were powerless, the wars of each region's leaders were reduced to exile. The tribes of all regions are, now are, and they have become barbarians once more. Ah, around here I'll have the story of how Nathlan is actually split into ah into different uh, people. Huh. Ah, that's the thing. Let's hope you put up a good well, fight. Well. Here comes another. Reconstitute. Solidify. Let's round them up. This is order. Bow your head. This was new. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession.
Okay, let me just mark that I just got. Water okay. comes in many well, that is Let's just check that once I get to the uh, to the boss. Come mm. oh, on, it's right here. Well, I mean, this close, there's a chance I may enter here. Part of battles. Oh, I'm sidetracking, right? I should be sidetracking in Genshin. This isn't Zelda, where I play to do everything. Ah, here. Where I play through everything live. Uh, in Shin, it's just a source. Quests. Uh, back there. <laughs> uh, there's a quest around there that I have to avoid. Put up a good fuck down. The time's beckoned. Silence! An oversight on my order guide you. Neutralize! A little ambiance! Solidify! Yeah. Extract! <laughs> Settle down! <clears throat> Let the mighty be humble! I feel like I shouldn't use water against that. Neutralize. Stabilize. It works. Hmm. Let's swap to Arikino. I think we'll do better against that. No need to fret. I think it was a fraud. Oh, let's hope All you right. put up a good well, well. Well. Here That's comes my old way to where I marked. Overruled. This is order. 
Solidified. Reconstitute. Transfixed. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Right here. Stabilize. Neutralize. Yeah, but I think I'll pass by and not. Prepare yourself! Solidify! Reconstitute! Lay to bear! So it's easier. Alright, let's just check there what it is that I have to do. Ignite a fruit and have the glutinous Yunkasaur Mountain King swallow it. Ah, so that's a Yunkasaur. King, uh, even sort of has pierced numerous impressive battles. It is not some abnormal mutant that has grown its burnt shape to its gluttony. Uh, it is not some abnormal mutant, but has grown to its current shape due to its gluttony. I thought it wasn't, maybe it was like a Yukon sort of king or something, it was larger as well. But no, it's just a gluttony Yukon they will collect flame grenades during combat and speed them out as bombs. However, you can use partially ignited flame grenades before the Gluton uh, of Silkasar Mountain King can swallow them. Who knows what might happen? Who knows? Extract! Transfixed! That was it. Oh. And the other side swallow it. Okay, I exploded too soon. Stabilize. Let 
laid bare. Let's do sheer for you, right? I just want to see. It's a Dino Brute. Hmm. Why that exactly? I didn't betray the Yonkasar. I didn't backstab it. The fruit betray him. Is that it? Okay. Alright, so I'll go back up there. No, walk. Keep walking. Keep walking. Did you stop so you wouldn't step on me? Or you were really just taking that single step forward? No, you stopped so you wouldn't hit. Damn, you're too nice. Huh, you again. Over there, one close to farm challenge seals kind of territory. Must collect a many arm. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the same thing as the other. Yeah, I think. Ah, I had to avoid that. I didn't really notice if there were any of those. I just tried to grab the other thing, the last one. So, you've also come to this as a kind of territory. Uh, some pretty nice views around here, wanna say? Staying way up high, you can see all kinds of terrain. The shapes of all kinds of things will also look different. Phew, I think. Love Dazzler, we didn't think you'd get here before us, though. So you don't look so good. Need to catch your breath. Climbing up and down must be tiring. This is why I envy the tribe's warriors so much. If their endless reserves of stamina and graffiti is also hard work, but our bodies just can't keep up. Sometimes we can't help but think that Yunkasars are really good companions, after all, they can effortlessly navigate even the most steep and rugged terrain. It's a godsend for graffiti artists. I couldn't climb that wall back there with the Yunkasar. We climbed a bit and then it stopped. That's a good point. With a younger star to help, travel is a whole lot easier. Of course. So, I'm not at all saying that the Petosaurus companions aren't good enough. After all, a younger star couldn't even begin to imagine how to do some of the things they can. Like helping to excavate critical ores from deep underground or making paints with some amazing effects. Now that's priceless. Plus, looking at things from a much broader perspective 
the most important thing about your companion isn't their abilities. I care more about the emotional connection. Who cares about the, the utilitarian uh, swallow? Even if climbing mountains and crossing rivers is a bit more tiring for me, so what? There's no way to even consider something like leaving the children of the echoes and joining the seals of the canopy or anything ridiculous like that. Oof, sorry for throwing all that at you. I must be getting you know, get dizzy from exhaustion. Let me take a little break. I oh, never thought that Dope Dazzler would be able to get so serious. Well, now we know you're the type of people who cares a lot about their companion com camaraderie. But when you are like that too, when you make friends, we never think, what can this person do for me? Now it starts with, what would you call it? Compatibility? Serendipity? Yeah, that word. Yeah, something like that. Sure. Speaking of companions, there's a powerful Saurian hunter among the seals of canopy named Kinich. Uh, he is often accompanied by a rather extraordinary companion. Yeah, what is that? The companion's coloration is unusually vivid. Yeah, it's not the coloration what's weird. Were I to use the professional lingo of Fontanian painters, I say the saturation levels are really high and far more deserving of the name Dazzler. And Knich himself also has a very avant-garde sense of style. His appearance just screams natural artist. Shen Tho, lots of the members of my alliance drew graffiti near his usual haunts to get his attention, but he doesn't seem to care at all. Seems like he really isn't into graffiti. Uh, is that how the graffiti alliance usually recruits the members? Seems like a lot of time and effort. Seems like a compatibility issue. You can force a ring tip tip. Uh, yeah, that's right. You can force it. Uh, super strong story and hunters are probably only attracted to other powerful figures like you two. Once the two of you are famous members of the Graffiti Alliance, maybe he'll take an interest in graffiti. That's, that logic is pretty avant garde too. Stuff like this, you never know until you try. So there's no need to rush things. Alright, I'll take your advice this time, but your guys better work hard so you can accumulate enough inspiration. ASAP. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't think you could do better than that, right? I'll quick go under a minute. No, I don't think we ever got slow enough to lose... To not get the best possible uh, combo. Where? Oh, good.
Alright. Cool. Now the last one. Got that already. Okay, I've been there, so I got that at the entrance. Okay, harvest things there. Tiny ones of those as well. Uh, let's go here already. I know how to take picture of that. They don't die. <laughs> and they float. Oh, that's so mean. People can use them as beach balls. Oh, you are just a duck. You're fighting me. Stabilize. Neutralize. Lay to bear. Your move. You're a little ambiance. Gather. You're. Oh, I didn't need to kill you guys, just the humans. Yeah, my bad. An impressive bounty. Okay, let's have to push a boot like that. And that would be cooler. Uh, 
So that I got. Oh, I was supposed to take picture of the penguins as well. Flow current bird. Mm, I suppose can go go for there. Things I just add here. Train your pupils. Okay, I should check that back at some point. Combat. Uh, back there. Ah, oh, hello. Let me scan. That swim. Oh no. Oh, farewell, friend. That was mean like it was an Yoshi. Ah, uh, this one doesn't have any. I have more. No, so why am I going there? Oh, it's not marked on the map. Damn, it's that a quest. Let's just grab that and leave this place. It's not marked on the map because of the uh, thing. Oh, there's something you need to kill me here. Fire Thief's Secret Island. Oh, oh! Okay, uh, I'll check it at a later point. Let's go back there.
Ah. Ah. Ouais, ça va. On va se coffrer. Stabilize. Neutralize. How about this? Trace it. Take it. Slide this way. Gather. Reconstitute. Overruled. Was that that? Flow inverted. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Transfixed. This one doesn't have a boss at the end. Ah, there were four phases. I didn't even pay attention to that. Now the race is the one right next to me. 
No. Um, that's pretty close to a teleport. Something so. you wish to report? Okay, let's do the main order. You have my undivided attention. Bubble do. Where'd the bubble go? Let's hope you put up a good fight. Let's finish this next time. Letter of the Mage Exterior. Uh, you can vaguely make these words on the envelope from here. The okay, so I have to keep an eye out for NPCs with Erda in the name. That's fine for now, I guess. I want it more like a checkpoint. Teleport. Gather! Uh. Well, Here comes another. That was quick. That was quick. Solidify. Okay. I can get more stamp from the statues of the seven here. Doesn't matter. I'll figure out. I used that already. Okay, and I lost whatever Paimo said. Uh, hey, thanks for being to of you again, and and none other than the finest scenic spot that the people of the springs have to offer. Not only that, this place is universally recognized as one of the most stunning sights in the whole southern nature. Nature. Uh, the azure blue of the vast expanses of water, the lush green of the mountain vegetation, intertwined with the intense fiery hues of the flagstone. It's simply breathtaking, in a masterclass intro to color contrast too. Open Dazzler, pretty fast on your feet, huh? Uh, no use lecturing us on color theory yet though, we still won't get it. Do you know the people of Springs well? You must have visited many times before. 
Well, core members of the Graffiti Alliance technically make it the first mission to travel to every corner of Nathan, familiarizing themselves with the culture and customs of all the different tribes. A while back now, the people of the Springs hired us to spray paint their water sports gear. It was a very large order, so I had to stay here for quite some time. They paid us very well, so to return the favor, I decided it was only fair if I made the design I sprayed onto each and every one of their water sports products totally unique. In the end, after two months of slugging away, I finally I'd only finished less than five percent of the total. My hands were so sore they felt like they were about to fall off and my brain had totally crashed. And to make matters worse, new products were constantly being churned out. If things had kept going the way they were, I'd never be able to finish the job. The unique design for every single individual water spot product. Well, there are water sports products everywhere at the people of Springs. You couldn't even count them if you tried. The goal was totally crazy. Crazy. Even if you had 20 dope dancers of the job, still struggle. Why would you put so much pressure on yourself? Yes, well, in the end we came to realize that our clever clients from the people of Springs proposed a more cost effective solution instead. The new plan was that we would come up with a single batch of graffiti designs, create stencils based on the designs, spec specify the colors required, and then work with mark, mark out where they needed to be sprayed. In the client's own people would spray the designs of the large beds of water sports, water sports equipment themselves, following our instructions, of course. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. It wouldn't require a lot of manpower and so it saved heaps of time and effort. Plus, you, you wouldn't even need to go to the trouble of training them up. Is this also some kind of avant-garde production philosophy? Mm, yes, I suppose you could say that. Of course, it is an ideal in an ideal world. Uh, it would all be done by hand, but we're not that inflexible. If it helps our art reach a wider audience, we shouldn't force ourselves to stick rigidly to the principles of pure handcraft. Anyway, all in all, I am I'm full aware of, uh, I'm full of all and admiration for our friends at the people of Springs. They think on their feet and they are always full of ideas. A water sports shop owner named Walani, also, who also happens to be one of the tribe's renowned warriors, spent a few days with us learning graffiti. Overflowing with enthusiasm and talent, that one, it wasn't long at all before she was producing bona fide artwork to decorate her surfboard with. Now I, I come to think of it, she's the perfect role model for you guys. From the sound of it, as long as you have Mr. Commitment to the motivation, learning graffiti over a short period of time isn't completely impossible then. In us, we need to shoot up our game. You we'll have to find some good materials and get grips with this avant-garde mindset ASP. Paimon can't wait to start doodling all over her favorite objects too. <laughs> Sounds like what we need is a crash course in graffiti. About time we jazzed up some of our own gear too. Yeah, that would be nice. But we probably won't. Boom, that's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. You're totally committing around coming around. Uh, well, I'll say no more. Only this. Open your eyes, clear your mind, soak up the incredible scenery around you. Look for anything that captures your imagination and inspires creativity. Anything. Line, shapes, colors. And with that in mind, sally forth. Yeah, it would be nice if we could have a nice a new design for that base sword we have in the, the cutscenes.
just by touching it starts already. This almost feels like I'm breaking those things. Yeah, I don't think I... I got assess in every other one, right? So let's try again this one. I don't think I broke some of this stuff back there. Did I hit that thing down there? No. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, I think something I missed in breaking stuff. The other? How convenient. Oh no, it's not the other. It's the same. Okay. Uh, back there. Hmm. Okay, where? Okay, we are done with the event. Oh. 
I didn't grab that. I like that. Alright, so... I'll complete here. Ah. Huh. I'll complete here. I'll complete here. Uh, inspiration. Ah, nice. the first time you get stuff there isn't a share button around here uh, reports another mark still Judging by your looks, I assume you've seen some spots, gathered some materials, and found some inspiration. Uh, sorta. We certainly have fun along the way. Having a specific goal in mind helps us, help us notice lots of detail we wouldn't have before. These material gathering projects mean a real eye opener for us, and we've come away with lots of samples too. It's a shame that we might not be able to use them all in our graffiti. My avant-garde philosophy still needs some refinement. Oh, take your time, no rush. The whole point of the tour around Nathan was uh, to help you realize what avant-garde is in the first place. Speaking of which, mind telling me what you've seen and heard? You showed up with Azure the Rapid Guidebook and the various photos you've taken. Now, yeah, I thought we would walk around Nathan and and put graffiti on some rock walls actually. You thought this an event? This could show up in every map after the event was over anyway. Mm, well, aren't you the conscious photo taker? I didn't expect to be so experienced with cameras as you subconsciously select excellent compositions for all these pictures. If anything, there's a danger I'll be stunting your growth if I say too much. Just a little guidance is all you need. Please take these notes of mine. Just give them a quick flick through when you encounter senior in your journey. Perhaps they'll help you take pictures of even greater artistry. Huh, and here final thought will be treated to a picture by picture analysis and you know, avant-garde introductory lectures. Uh, Pyma was also tempted to try doing some graffiti herself. All the more reason to think that you are talented enough for self-driven learning. If anything, too much by the book's learning might snuff the sort of potential out. As such, I think I need to adjust my role from responsible mentor to an assistant senior artist. Just wait for a rush of inspiration and opportunate moments. Then pick your paint chart up and show the world what you've got. Uh, we're that talented, are we? Uh, looks like all the commissions we took from painters and film directors haven't gone to waste. Hey, thanks for the compliments then. We'll do our best to figure this out. Relax, you get the hang of avant-garde aesthetics on your own in no time. I'm usually over in the Masters of the Nine Winds lane. Prepping for the construction of the Graffiti Alliance's headquarters. If you have any questions, feel free to head over and ask me. I'll be sure to kill you out in a 
with a fine set of graffiti making for implement next time you pop by. Nice, so that's where your hard parts are going to be. We'll remember that, best of luck. Uh, this was pretty great time, see you again. Don't forget to click through the pedestrian's notes when we are free. Uh, can do our art artistic links if it's any harm, huh? Who knows, we might make fortune from showing off our skills as a graphic brain master someday. A notebook written by the Rapid Alliance member Dope Dazzler discussing what she knows of art of graffiti. They describe some of the ideas behind creating avant garde works and it seems to be a gift to prepare for a star of the graffiti scene who has yet to arrive. Wow, that's a lot. Ah. Finally, this old notebook is coming handy. My original plan was to personally mentor the newbies and show them how the graffiti is done. This notebook is to be left so that some genius can use it to teach themselves, no matter when they finally appear. So congratulations on becoming a graffiti genius, recognized by none other than yours truly. So, uh, so you, as the insane, might have never touched a spray nor a spray can, nor painted even a single work of graffiti, but perhaps one day you'll be a master of the art, admired by all. Also, the stuff in this notebook isn't too complex. Plus, for a genius, all you need is a little hint to get the creative juices flowing. Disclaimer prompt, all the key points in here aren't representative of all the graffiti artists in Adam. All I discuss is my own avant-garde artistry. If you think the Graffiti Alliance, we've got masters of all kinds of styles, and each kind of art is incredibly extensive. If you want to study other styles too, no problem, take your time, and now back to business. I've heard that nations like Liu and Fontaine have their own mature artistic schools with strict teaching methods. Painting for them is a proper discipline. Uh, but we aren't that serious enough when it comes to graffiti. Every, uh, nobody's gonna criticize your brush strokes for being substandard or say your shape is off while you're spraying paint. No matter who they are or where they come from, anybody can pick up a spray they can. And as long as they don't cause trouble for anybody else, they can start painting graffiti on any flat surface they can find. Now let's talk about the origin of graffiti. Flagstone engravings, totems of power, the symbols of battle and protection. Graffiti is a kind of painting that expresses your thoughts, a reflection of the simplest, purest emotions of the heart. So, as you may have guessed, the first step is to find the shape and color of emotions. That's why I always ask newbies to use their own eyes to bear witness to the natural conditions and local customs of Nath. The To understand the shapes and colors of the palettes present. That's the only way they to make even deeper creations and in, in turn, in turn our innermost thoughts into powerful graffiti. For example, if you want to inspire warrior fighting, warriors fighting against the beast, just calmly repeat the words, you can do it isn't anywhere near strong enough. We often find the warriors liquor, drink with them, uh, sing with them, dance with them like no one's watching enough and, and curse the living daylight of, out of a piece of skull with them. Laying all, laying all out makes them feel better and they'll be at ease as they battle. When painting graffiti with the team of wonders resisting the abyss, you need to make our homelands look incomparably bright and colorful. Give the warriors a radiant glow as bright as the sun. Let's say the natural brightness of Nathan's color, colors is about uh, 15 in reality. Then you've got to do your best to find paints that use ingredients like Nobody's business and crank the brightness of the colors of our homelands in the warriors up to 50. And as for the enemies over on the side of the abyss, they usually get dark blues, dark purples, various grays, lots of different dark colors. Let's say the brightness of their actual colors is about a 10. In your graffiti, the brightness level should only be around 2 or 3. 
two to three. And if you want to paint shadows, you don't need to worry about the shades of grey, just compress it all into nothing but black. The way the intense just the position of colors will imbue your graffiti with the basic qualities it needs to catch people's attention and express your inner feelings simply and clearly. You should be aware that most people only spend 30 seconds or less looking at any given painting, much less roadside graffiti on the wall. While a painting that uses traditional techniques and emphasizes authentic colors with complex lighting and realistic shadows is certainly quite elegant, it's a completely different thing from graffiti. Alright, now that you understand everything, your new top priority is to paint graffiti of the Night Warden Wars, scale to show hundreds of people. For practice, just kidding. If these colors aren't enough, you've got to be able to paint extremely exaggerated forms with lines first in tension. Yet ensure everything stays recognizable. If something seems straight enough, make it really straight. If it's got horns, make them sharp as knives, they're fine. If the figure is dynamic, like they're leaning back as they brace themselves, preparing to draw their weapon, then draw the person with a flexible curve like a bow pull fully taut. In the process of fighting all kinds of foes, you should have gotten used to extreme back and forth combat, swinging in your arms and branching your blade countless times. When you see an enemy make a crazy move, do you worry about their lumbar or neck? Uh, have you ever thought their movements could, could be even more exaggerated? Anyway, in my style of graffiti, the more extreme the pose, or should I say dynamic, the more it's worth trying out. After all, everyone's used to realism in aestheticism in paintings. Those two styles have been mature for ages and are as common as dirt. As uh, one of the elements of avant-garde and new wave is finding methods of expression that nobody's ever tried before, remember. Exaggerate the contours to the extreme and put it in as much tension as you can. That's pretty much all that needs to be said about the two key points. As for the details, like how aesthetically appealing the ratio of facial features is, or how accurate the shapes of the objects are, don't get bogged down in details when you're first starting out. There's plenty of time to just practice as you paint. Start out with avant-garde expression, develop your ability to create the overall composition, then find whatever works best for you, one penny at a time. That's enough for now, as for the next key point, I'll save the details for the next phase. If you run into any thought, any tough problems in the process of putting it into practice, feel free to drop by the method of the Night Winds Graffiti Alliance headquarters and find me. That was pointless in long and yeah, why have that? I still have that. Yeah. As Memphis wind. Okay. Afterwards, I completed many presets. Ah. Blade colorful. Ah, to obtain a weapon. Ah, that's a weapon. Ah. Ash Green Drinking Horn. Ah, there's a drinking horn. I thought it was paint. Tupac Grip. When an attack is an opponent, deal earth effects damage equal to 4% on max HP at the target location. This effect damage trigger once for every 15 seconds. Uh, Molani. I test Mulan. I, I use her. Oh, I didn't test her, but I use her during the quest. She didn't use uh, spear as well, did she? Yeah, I think this may be for Mulan. Yeah, she uses HP as well, doesn't she? Yeah. A ritual vesh vessel passed down among the mess mestly. 
they say that this was once a treasure much valued, yet never used by the great by the hero giant Tupac. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I had too many things here. Huh. I didn't get any of those. Job great. Uh, especially the uh, the sea sun shade. The refined material for the ash grave in drinking horn. The fine and warm colored sand has a texture as gentle as the sea breeze and sunset. According to the ancient Mestly legend, the sea is the star's home. And sinking starlight will eventually turn into pale ocean sand. Uh, listen quietly then to the swaying whispers of the stars and the tides within the bottle. I get those, not today, but where? Can you just show me the domain? I think it's that one. Uh, let's open those domains as well. Uh, I guess there will be for this for today. Let's see if I can do that fast. Ah, uh, it doesn't call it on any. It didn't. Birds for playing. Check the map. Is there a quest here or something? No. Should die. Where are you up to? Doesn't look like there's anything here. Hmm. 
Hello, is there one there? Uh, for the monsters. Come. Uh, yes, that's the last one. I think I got the wrong place, but okay. I've managed to do something up. What did I get? Was that turtle died? We're just digging out over there. Did you unearth something amazing? Was it some sort of valuable treasure? Uh, there's a flower. I'm going to see. Is this some sort of seed? Uh, do you think we need find something like that in this barren ground? Uh, that said, this doesn't look all that valuable. Uh, this is containing infinite possibilities. You never know, it might grow into something impressive. Still, this place must have been abandoned for ages. The soil looks so hard, too. Could this seed really still be alive? Are you upset? Well, sometimes it's hard to say. Some seed just won't sprout naturally. But you could replant it and see what happens. Maybe it, it just hasn't sprouted yet. Maybe the hole wasn't well dug, or it didn't get enough nutrients. So it might grow if you plant it properly. Uh, what might grow from it? A giant grapefruit, maybe? Oh, you know, a uh, cacahuato with super strong aroma might be awesome too. Or maybe a whoop flower. <laughs> hey, come on, stop being a killjoy. That said, what sort of nutrients do plants from Natal need? Anyway, let's get this planted first. Okay. Ah, it's still around here. I thought we would have to find a place to plant it somewhere else. And this depth should do it. Yeah, right next to lava. Uh, that primal thing. Uh, if there was one way in which plants from Nathalie might be different, it's gonna be flockstone. Maybe we could use that to fuel the seed. Let's give it a go. The seed infused flockstone has tried flockstone. There we go. Let's find bugs coming from. Yeah! Uh, flying bugs and chase away, so I have to retain the seeds. Just chase away the flying more bugs while. Stabilize! Reconstitute! Transfix! Yeah! <laughs> Talk about the drawing, a little bit longer, not enough time to read. Come on, little seed. We weren't supposed to take it out already. Come on, little flower. Uh, mm. This plug stone uh, has faded. It must be absorbed by the seed, but there was no reaction. Seeds usually take a while. Has needs time to grow. Name seeds uh, to stage fright. Uh, really? Uh, maybe Spam was just being too impatient. The seed got dug up by Turtledile, had its nutrients stolen by flying insects, and was even disturbed by some monsters barking. The fire must have sounded like a horrible thunderstorm to a seed. Guess it's only natural that it would hide in the soil, not daring to move. Well, in that case, let's leave it alone for now. There'll be time to come back later. Hmm. Yeah, there isn't a quest marked here in the map. Uh, let's just see. Since I'm here already, uh, waiting here works or that should be a real world base. Um, I don't think we can get there yet. Yeah, 
да, фигня. Pictures, two different actions. Uh, complete mystery, a little momentum. Tension and battle will be free of fire. Uh, okay. okay. I did that, but I can do more. Okay. Wishes. Next age of performance measure. Uh, okay. Okay. So I've got that. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those teammates. Bro, friend, thank you for accompanying us on your journey. Okay, maybe that was just for having the first uh sorry and die while I was possessing it. Not necessarily for throwing it in water. Uh only the training grounds are left, so I have an ancient lost tribe site. Here we have... I uh, have stuff there. Doesn't really matter better now. Okay, can't do much with the weapon now. Well, let's see, I think we can sink a Shima now. That we got some stuff around the world. No, no more. Uh, we call one. No, okay, of her talents, not yet. Okay, not today. And her weapon, can upgrade that now with the stuff I got. Okay, I, I doubt she'll be good at fighting, but at least she would be more decent. Oh. All right. Um, let's try to get more No. Okay, and one that I got for free. No as well. All right. So that's it. And I'm off.